Hey there, before this reaction begins, please make sure to head over to roosterteeth.com to check out the official release. These episodes aren't going to be uploaded to YouTube, so if you want to watch this episode now, it's currently up there free for everyone. Don't need an account, don't need to be a first member. So head on over there, watch the video, come back here, watch the reaction. Thanks. Hello everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Red vs Blue, Season 16, Episode 5. I think it's Episode 5, is it not? Oh, God. Episode 5, Headshots. Um, so yeah, last episode we had the Sister and Tucker-centric one, uh, where they went back and killed flowers and kind of didn't get laid. Um, but yeah, we're kind of learning that in most cases, the time travel is consistent with the idea that what they did in the past, or what, they do, what they're doing in time travel already happened in the past. But aside from Griff and Doc's version, where it looks like either the pizza quest kind of thing is the only thing that's different, because it's a cow zone, or the portal guns do like alternate realities. Or alternate dimensions kind of deal. Um, but yeah, not quite clear what one that is yet. This episode is Headshots, which is the Sarge and Simmons one, supposedly. Um, and I think it said something about them trying to get help or some more reds or something. So I imagine it's going to be kind of like an audition kind of style thing. With the title Headshots kind of being both double meaning in it. In terms of like... That wasn't really a headshot, but you know. Um, yeah. Do have to say, at this point in time, as I'm recording this, I've only uploaded episodes one and two, even though it's been like, I should be able to have three and four up, theoretically, by now. But I haven't, just because my episode two got blocked initially, and then I re-edited it, and then it got blocked again, and then it finally got unblocked. But some people have theirs up unedited. Some people have like made it transparent and flipped it and all this different stuff. So I don't quite know whether they're allowed up or what. I'll probably upload my episode 3 one soon. And then by the time you this is out, you would definitely episode 3 should definitely be up. Episode 4 probably up. Well, by the time you're seeing this, they'll all be up. But yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Either way. Um, yeah, it makes no sense. But yeah, this probably won't out, be out next week for me. I'm recording this on the 13th, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, either way, let's just get on with it. Yeah, get on with it, shall we? Oh, sorry. All right. Uh, and should I make this smaller, actually? I wonder. Maybe that will help. Oh, let's not squish it. There you go. Let's go like that. Like middle, middle of the thing, edit in it. Uh, but yeah, maybe that'll help content ID or something. <laughs> Don't know. It's supposed to be like new red base. I returned to the near present from our extended recruitment campaign in Earth's past. Despite the setback, oh, this is standoff, isn't it? It's supposed to be. Red appears satisfied with his efforts. I am satisfied with my efforts. <laughs> team is now the greatest fighting force in the universe. Oh, I love the Achilles Steve. armor. It looks so cool. Private George, Private Alex, you men represent the cream of the crop, the very best, the very best. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, quick editor's note, just wanted to say that throughout this episode I did not get the fact that the three recruits were supposed to be John Wayne, George Washington and Alexander the Great. Somehow that went completely over my head, don't know why, I mean, don't really know much about John Wayne or George Washington admittedly, but, and I'm not really that big into history, but I probably should have you know, clued on to the fact of Alexander the Great and all that stuff. I don't, spoiler alert, uh, and I sound like an absolute idiot, so just be aware that I am aware of it, but I wasn't at the time, so a lot of the jokes go over my head because I have no idea, I'm a idiot. Uh, yeah, that was it, so just keep that in mind. Cheers. Yeah, I'd get rid of that helmet as well if I were you. One of the best methods 
for preserving peace. But if war must be fought, let us bring destruction unto these redcoats. No, George, we are the redcoats. We're fighting the bluecoats, which brings me to my point. It's time for our first mission. Back to the Battle of Broken Ridge? Not yet, Simmons. I have other plans in mind. Men, listen up. Yeah, I think I said last time. Red team fought a great battle. The, the red team thing is probably my least favorite bit so far. But one member of red team was seduced and tricked into joining with the enemy. One of us reds betrayed his longtime friends and allies. One of us? You mean? One of us <laughs> was obviously so traumatized by his mistake, he began thinking in the third person. We are going to save our comrade by preemptively striking our enemy. That's right, men. You're gonna travel in time and kill Temple. Well, now you just hold on there for one second, boy, howdy. I sure played my fair share of the law. I ain't never done none law keeping my own self. I'm not gonna teach the man who taught me how to be a man how to be a man, Private John. You're just gonna have to roll with it. Roll with it. All right, then. No more talk, Simmons. Open up a donut hole. Oh, my About God. That, Dota did tell us that his hull can only fit two grown men at once. Aren't you worried about capacity? Only our capacity for victory! Can I get a hoorah? Oh, <laughs> <bro. laughs> <laughs> what have I told you about stepping on my dramatic moments? Oh, okay, so it can take more than two, but it shouldn't really. Okay, I'll get you. We're deep in enemy territory now. So this is back in... That's, there we are. that's yeah. them, yeah. Observe our enemy! On the right. The right! In the middle. <laughs> That's their leader, Temple. Taking out the chief. Smart move. Make him fall back and choose a new one. Sarge, something about this isn't right. We've gone too far into the future, or not far enough into the past. We're supposed to get here before we got here. Before the other us's showed up and met the evil us's. We should definitely fall back and try again. There is no shame in retreating from a superior force. There's no superior force. It's just us and the evil us's. Stick to the plan. Take out Temple. If we had to push forward, I propose a stratagem. We could carry ourselves silently along the base of these palisades. We will have the element of surprise until we are nearly upon them. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Do what he said. That I was already thinking. One issue. The group on the left will be within the arc of our musket shot. It's worth the risk. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm just trying to think if there's anything weird that happened back then that could be explained with this, but I can't remember anything. Yeah, that's the paradox. Do they call the UNSC in, maybe? No horses. But I see a mongoose down there. Who in the Sam hell can ride a mongoose? Private Alex, please tell me you know how to drive. No sem ni bakovi. Deka poveke. Nemam si da stojan. Ne stoji se sasno pogreso. What's he saying, Simmons? That a ye or nay? It's ancient Macedonian song. They didn't offer that in my house. Cut that. And some duct tape. We're making ourselves a distraction. Who killed Captain <laughs> Alex? We're not just dressing like you. We're like you. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. I was going to say that's a line change because they renamed it. Because it's changed. Me. Hey, Temple. Sayonara, dirtbag. <laughs> we did it. Woohoo. Oh, God. We killed him. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, this is on fucking. What the hell was that? Who the hell are you? <laughs> and what the fuck did you do to my actor? Actor? Simmons? I have no idea, Sarge. Sarge? Sarge, Sarge? Oh, no way, dude. How the hell are you, man? Oh, God. Man, down. Somebody called the paramedics. Dex, who are all these people? It's the crew, dude. You guys should have told me you were stopping by. I'm happy to see you, but we're kind of in the middle of running some takes. I don't think he's going to make it. What are we going to do? What are you looking at me for, Cohan? You're the producer. <laughs> Fucking fix it. Producer of the movie, dude. We're shooting the big Hollywood adaptation of our adventure last year. Duh. Last year? Sarge, I don't think we're in the past anymore. Simmons, we've got bigger things to deal with right It's pretty now. cool. I like it. You're making a movie without me? <laughs> hey, I looked everywhere for you guys. Facebook, Twitter. Me and Dylan told you to keep a low profile, but y'all downright vanished. I can't find his pole. Jesus, fuck. I'm trying to catch up with my friends over here. If you are incapable of dealing with I love the director voice. I fucking need to do it. 
But you fired the AD. It looks like I was just getting warmed up. Hey, how about I give you guys a quick little tour while the hell gets its shit together? So, here's our stage <laughs> area. Makeup, wardrobe, etc. We're shooting most of the movie on a soundstage in Vancouver. Tax incentives. But I insisted we shoot some scenes in the places these events actually happened. Why is everyone in armor? Well, the actors don't take off their suits because they're method acting. Also because I make them. The crew does it for solidarity. For solidarity. Pretty crazy. Uh, they're going to explain the armor money. every single time. They were for me, even though most of them just stand around bullshitting all day long. <laughs> The crafty table. We got little carrots. Munch, munch. Anyway, who are your new friends? Some new recruits for our secret mission. Oh, exciting. Anything for Quadrant with spin off potential? I am trying to develop ideas for what the Red versus Blue Extended Universe Jack, might Quick word? A quick fucking word. Hang tight, guy. <laughs> I think I figured out what's going on, Sarge. One of us murdered a thespian, Simmons. I'm sure who Yeah, they just murdered an actor. <laughs> Based on what Jack said, about as much time has passed here as we spent recruiting the rest of our team. We're back in the present, back in the now. Why are we in the now, Simmons? We were supposed to be in the then. I don't think the donut holes can handle so many grown men. I think the thing kicked us to the present. Hey, great news. The actor survived? Nah, he's dead as shit. Honestly, you guys did me a solid. Access Hollywood just released a tape of him saying some really horrible stuff. We'll get free press from the accident, and I get to recast the role. Win-win. Recast? Got anyone in mind? Like someone who takes excellent headshots? Oh, oh God. Why would you want to be Temple? All the good are dead. What Wardrobe a... question, Mr. Jones. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! On my way! This is my line. I can never finish a fucking sentence. <laughs> did you hear all a that? lot of people probably be thankful for that. Oh, I must shoo in. What about correcting the past? Fast How long is Seth there? 12 minutes. Nice. Here's the new plan. True again. I mean, I suspect that it probably is going somewhere now. Private John's going to get cast. Alright, here he comes. You ready to read? This ain't my first rodeo, cowboy. I got the general idea. Just stick to the script, Olivier. Here we go. Us, villain. <laughs> ha! Take a look in the mirror, you dirty so and sos. We are. I mean, you all were drafted by the UNSC, same as us, or whatever something, something. Fine. Listen to me. Now, you obviously adore hearing the ring of your own voice. So why don't you use Oh, he's going to get cast as Sarge, John is, yeah. Hmm, what is this? <laughs> well, <laughs> your freelancer buddies are killers. <laughs> That's too bad. I rode a long trail to get here, and I ain't the type to turn back empty-handed. Are you gonna speak what I need to hear? Or am I gonna have to smack that stupid grin off your face with this here Winchester? Mine, <laughs> no more talk! Fill your hand! Oh, bravo! <laughs> Thank you! I was really just getting warmed up there! Tell me, have you ever acted professionally? <laughs> Son... I've been in over 250 features. Why don't we make it <laughs> 251? Him? You can't! <laughs> Sorry, Space Pilgrim. Sometimes, you just gotta roll with it. Everybody set! Camera rolling and... I love the tech yeah, armor. With, with the helmet on. Private John has been cast as Temple in the Red vs. Blue movie. This turn of events has caused Head of Research Dick Simmons to undergo a substantial existential Oh, they use the same helmet though. Why? Logic has clearly fled reality. Meaning is obviously imaginary. Science is conclusively bullshit. This is... This is so stupid. Simmons, have you ever heard the phrase, My own worst enemy? I think I know where you're going with this, Sarge. I am my own worst enemy. <laughs> worst nightmare! <laughs> Private John, that dirty son of a gun. Has stolen everything from me, and come hell or high water, we're gonna steal it back. What about the mission? Oh, you know what? Who cares? I'm done with science anyway. Science schmines. Science schmines indeed, sir. You know, I'm thinking of giving religion a try. <laughs> no music. Back into space. Oh, assembled hosts, masters. Holy Our fuck. King has commanded you all here to assemble the great quorum of the cosmic powers. If we are to discuss nominations, in the Gamma Center, a race of bipedal Dysplorians have harnessed the power of fire. I love the helmet. They are most promising. This is in regards to another matter. Uh, so the rumors are true. Yes, the great prophecy is unfolding. He speaks truth. 
I was there when the fated pizza quest began. Pepperoni! Uh, sorry, I turned out there for a sec. What were we talking about? The end of the universe. About time, if you ask me. <laughs> Up top! Silence! <laughs> it has been many eons since the cosmic powers interfered with the affairs of humans. And now, nine of these upstart apes have forged a most unholy alliance. We should have been warned. What have the fates spoken of this? The fates have not spoken for some time now. They are atop their tower in sleep as deep as death. How were mortals able to silence destiny and her sisters? They may have had help from within. Sorry, that was me. I'm the traitor! Whoopsie! This is not the time for your tricks and games, idiot son! Well, at least I tried. The Shizno have escaped into the past. Their every action wears thin the chains that bind him. But these mortals cannot hide forever. When they come up for I'm really quiet right now. But... will find them, and I will destroy them! It cannot be done. They have his... Yeah. King Atlas Arcadian Rex, first from the cosmic powers, God to the gods, slayer of Titan. If I wish these reds and blues dead, they are dead already. I didn't really understand what the fuck they were just talking about because it's so cryptic uh, that I'm probably going to have to rewatch it. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Two seconds, I'll probably cut it out. Bang. All right. I don't know if that cut worked or what, but, uh, yeah. Second time around, still not much more the wiser. Seems that, you know, what I, what I previously thought, that the guy in the chair and the kind of little light balls and all that sort of stuff, thought they were, like, the good guys, and then Kalirama was the, like, evil one. Seems like it's a little bit more, you know, dynamic and interesting than that, which is good, I suppose. So... Still don't know quite know whether these are quite the good guys or the bad guys. I kind of thought the glowy things were good, but it seems like the, they're all one entity, and they want the reds and blues dead, seemingly, or at least the main dude does. What do you call himself? Atlas, I think. Um, which is the dude who I, I don't know Atlas mythology or whatever. It's the dude with the big atlas on his back in it. <laughs> yeah, gonna sound like an idiot. But, so it seemed like there's multiple ones of them. They're, like, in charge, but then there's also the Fates. And, what was it, the Sisters of something. There's so much stuff, but... Um, Orange Dude was talking about, like, some new race that's discovered fire, I think. That I imagine he's talking about something irrelevant. Um... What else did they say? Yeah, the Pizza Quest Donut is helping them, is stopping these guys doing what they want, which seems like a bad thing, but they want to kill Donut, so... Well, they want to kill the Reds and Blues and Donut stopping them, so I imagine that means Donut is real Donut and he's good, but, you know, can never know for sure. Green Guy, you know, it's still feel like it's Jenkins. The colour looks way more like Jenkins in this one than it did in the other one. He was like way greener. This time he looks that kind of like sage that he was in Halo 3. Um, and yeah, it's, it's not the same voice really, but yeah, he said he's like a traitor and he was the one who helped him. Don't know how Jenkins helped him, but definitely seems like he has some connection to the Reds and Blues that is not clear yet. Um, but yeah, that ending part was probably the most interesting bit. I did like the whole thing with Jax being a little bit more serious. They kind of do the same thing of like what they did with Sister, where at least what they did with Sister in season 15, where she was kind of like a lot more mature. It's kind of how Jax seems when he's talking to like the crew and everything, being a bit of a dick to be honest, but when he's with the talking to Sarge and that he's the same. Um but yeah, overall I still think the red stuff was 
fairly inconsequential. You know, like they haven't really done anything there. It was it wasn't exactly like hilariously funny either. You know, there were some funny bits and the part of like <laughs> a bit of like Sarge Johnson was fucking funny. Um, but yeah, for a moment I was like, did they really just go back and kill Temple? Like seriously, like that's like going to create some sort of paradox or some chain of events that doesn't work. Because if you think about it, they would never have ended up at the island if they killed Temple. So they wouldn't have even gone back in time. Donut wouldn't have been struck by the thing. Think if yeah, if you think about it, you just go back and kill Temple. It fixes everything. But, well, it wasn't because you'd create paradox, but it would stop it. Um, but yeah, and then they had three new characters. Was it John, Alex, and George? I think it was. Who are pretty, you know, irrelevant. The Achilles dude. I think they made it sound like he was actually like a legitimate like Spartan and Spartan in the sense of like Roman, not like Mjolnir um, or something like that but he had like a, I don't know what he had, bronchitis or something and he just kept dying um, then George did nothing I don't even know where he went and John got the part of Temple but yeah, the whole thing, the yeah, the whole Sarge Simmons storyline so far has been really like lackluster for me. So I think everyone else is. Griffin Doc seems like it's heating up, especially in the sense that their sort of like method of time travel is the most different. Um, Sister and Tuckers was pretty interesting last time. Caboose and Lopez was interesting the first time we saw it, and then we haven't seen it since, but. Yeah, Sergeant Simmons, I think, is definitely the weakest so far just because it doesn't play into anything, you know? We get to see Jax here again in the future and we got some information about kind of how the donut hole works in that it looked like it can bring more than two people through, but if that has some sort of adverse effect or some consequence to it, it seems like it does, That, but it's not quite clear what it is yet. But yeah, I'm not sure how, if they can control the time travel or, or if they went to the wrong place by accident. Because it seemed like Simmons knew how to work it and he could go where he wanted to go. I mean, they went straight to, what was it, Battle Ridge or whatever. But then here, they went here and he realised that it was wrong. But perhaps, I think he said something about like the time they spent grouping up is the time that passed in the real world or something like that in the in the present I can't exactly remember I don't know if that's what he said but it doesn't seem like it because that imply that they spent a year gathering people which doesn't seem like what happened you know seems like it was in like what a couple of days an hour maybe but yeah either way it's like there are some things that they're going to clarify all the stuff about the kind of gods and that at the end is like super wordy and kind of like feels a little bit out of place. I, feel, I think it'd work a bit better if they tried to maybe ground it in some sort of thing that we've seen before. You know, at the minute it's so outlandish and out there that, I mean, you can't really refute it because you're seeing it happen, but it's like it doesn't necessarily feel connected enough, you know, in this universe so far. Um, I'm sure once we get more interactions between them and more kind of explanation as to what this is, you know, or why they are, or what they're doing, or who they are, you know, at the minute it's just like these are just gods who are know everything and can go anywhere and do anything, you know, which I think when you're dealing with gods and stuff, it's like that sort of explanation is fine, but it's not particularly satisfying you know or like rewarding to watch or listen to because there's nothing to back it up you know that this is something that's existed the entire time and that there are gods i assume the jenkins kind of deal will get something to do with that with jenkins being with them the entire time or like following them around and they just didn't know you know and i I imagine that would be a good way to link it in and just kind of be like, hey, look, this has been happening all this time. You didn't know it. But, yeah, if we don't get that, then I'm not entirely sure. But it was still an alright episode. It was a 12-minute one this time. But, yeah, like I said, most of it was kind of 
wasted, I feel. Like, the, a lot of the stuff aside from that is... Some of it was funny, some of it felt rehashed, and some of it just felt like you're kind of just using up the time, you know, as opposed to doing stuff that's interesting. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got to say for this one, I think. I mean, I, I, I like to present it with some form of criticism. I think saying every episode was great, or that I liked everything about it, it's just like, you know, not interesting. I won't judge it, the season until I've watched it all, and so far I'm still enjoying it, you know, it's not like how I felt about, like, Ruby or something like that, where I genuinely wasn't enjoying it. But this, yeah, I'm still, it's, it's great. I'm loving all the stuff with the gods and stuff. I think it's interesting. I just want to see more, like, if I could watch the whole thing now, then I would, you know, it's just the fact that when you're when you're watching it in 12 minute chunks you kind of want to learn stuff and get new stuff and you kind of want it to be laugh out loud moments and when you're spending it with plot lines that you're not particularly invested in then it feels like a bit of a waste but um but yeah if you have enjoyed my reaction please be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to stay up to date with my content once this one's out it'll probably be around the time episode seven has released for first members that it's good that I upload this if I'm going by the track record I'm going by now excuse me but um either way yeah subscribe if you're not fine of the next one leave a comment leave a like and yeah I've been Eproth and I'll see you in the next video bye